Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sam from freerun.co.uk. We're here today, we're going to do a roll tutorial um, and I'm just going to break it down into three main points for you and then just kind of talk about the, the, the importance of the rolling and the importance of the correct technique really. I mean, it's, it's not your traditional roll that you might learn in gymnastics or, or at school where you'd go sort of straight over the spine because obviously when you're outside and you're dealing with different landings and surfaces, especially on concrete, uh, rolling straight down your spine is going to do you a lot of damage. So um, in, in the, uh, when I break it down, I'm going to talk about exactly where you need to go across your back to do it safely so that you can do it over and over. But the importance of the roll is really for any, any drops and any landings where you've got quite a lot of momentum, you really want to save your, your knees and your ankles from taking that shock when you land. So you, the idea is that you're going to land and as you roll, the momentum and the energy from created from the impact channels through your body and out safely through your body without having to be absorbed heavily by your, your ankles or your knees. So looking at the, uh, the three main points, obviously first off we're going to look at the entry to the roll. Um, to enter the roll, once you've landed, uh, you want to land on sort of the balls of your feet so you've got a good sturdy landing there and straight away you need to come down into your roll. Now there's a couple of different ways to go into this. Some people just tuck in under the shoulder. My personal preference is to use the, the support and collapse technique which I, which I use where you, I, I come over my right, my right shoulder so I'll come down and I'll use my right hand here as a support but it's not locked okay so you, you've still got to flex at your elbow so the idea is that as the right hand meets the floor it can collapse slightly and you can lower it down and then you can really target the shoulder entry where you want to roll and I'll illustrate that in a minute second part of the roll is where you're going to roll. Okay, so the idea, as I mentioned before, you're not going to roll straight down your spine. The idea is you go almost just over the shoulder blade uh, to your lower back down here, uh, avoiding the, the coccyx bone, basically. So you're looking to enter just over the shoulder there, coming across the back and down and out just at the lower back there. And again, I'll illustrate in that just a moment. And then the third point that we're going to look at is the exit of the roll really trying to keep it quick, compact and fast because the whole idea is that you're channeling that energy so that you can use the momentum to really come out of your roll with pace and just carry on your run. You don't want to kind of hit the floor and stop and, and stumble. You want to hit, roll and really keep, keep going with speed basically. So we'll look at an illustration now. Okay, so remember those three points that we looked at with the entry, with the collapsing arm, onto the shoulder, rolling across the back and then really channeling the, the, the speed and the momentum through the roll quickly. So as I come down, I'm landing, balls of my feet and my weight's forward. I come down, I use the collapsing arm here. So I've got my left hand down to support and here's the collapsing arm. I roll across the back there and then forwards. And you can push yourself out as you, you want to continue your, your momentum. And we'll, we'll have a look at that from different angles now. Guys, so that was the roll tutorial. I hope it helps. Repetition really is the key with this one, so just give it a go and see how it feels for you. And uh, I'll catch you on the next tutorial. Peace.